Yo, what's up, bladers and brawlers alike? It's Soulburner here, and we are on day two of Anime Expo. Holy crap, guys. My... Oh, I am so excited to get into this. So, um, Amazon delivers on Sundays, and today happens to be the day that I got my Dragonoid Maximus. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, he looks absolutely sick. Like, we were looking at this, at this in the display case at Anime Expo, and I just could not wait to get my hands on it. So as soon as I got home, I ordered this bad boy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box and just kind of all the features that we're going to be getting. So we got the um, Maximus Dragonoid over here. We have the actual Titan Dragonoid Marble right here. We've got um, its closed and released form, the name, the cores we're going to be getting. There's actually a try me thing, so let's go ahead. A couple of different sounds. Very, very intimidating. Super, super cool. We're actually going to go ahead and rotate to the left. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's so sick. That art is so cool. Oh, I am so excited and then finally the back has this monstrous art oh my goodness he looks so cool you actually get to put the uh, Bakugan on the back of this toy um, so it shows it flipping open it's got sounds you have the character card the evolution and two Bak cores um, for those of you who do not know what the evolution does I have a treat for you so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and take a look at it all right, so here he is in all his clip. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Hold on. Ah, no, that's Gabutira. No, this is who we want. Bam. Oh, Maximus Dragonoid. I'm so excited. All right, um, so the only thing you gotta add to him are his wings, so go let's go ahead and pop those bad boys on. Uh, and you want the green to be on the inside, so they just go onto the oh, they just go onto the back like this. And then the other one will go right here. Like so. And we have a monster in our midst. Pop this horn up. Oh. Alright. Obviously, I'm going to have some sweeping shots of this bad boy, but for, for right now, um, actually. So yeah, he looks absolutely amazing um, as the figure, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at him so we all get. So he has an articulating jaw that you can kind of open and close. His horn, uh, you can kind of put it in any position you want. Um, he's got a posable hand just on the thumb side. You can like... Um, I mean, his feet kind of move, but you can't pose him more forward or anything just because of his spring mechanic. Um, he's got like this hood over his, his neck. Um, and then the button's right here. Got like four or five sounds. And then on the back, we have the tail, which is very, very detailed. I like this a lot. And then the place for the Bakugan is right here, and we'll show that off in a second. Take a look at the Bakugan itself and the character card. So introducing Titan Dragonoid Core. And here we go. He looks really, really cool. I love the way he opens. He like springs forward. So this kind of like jets forward. Um, and then the horn is manual or it's a uh, the horn is automatic. So it comes up not a lot of pieces. I don't think there's any pieces actually you have to pull out yourself him but he looks absolutely sick the wings on him are awesome he's got 700 b power um so that's really really strong and yeah he's actually really really well balanced for a roll um, i like it a lot let's see if i can't nail one for you guys and he's a core so he's really easy to close up bad 
bad. So bad. There we go. <laughs> he's also a core, so he's really easy to close up. Um, so that's super duper exciting. I like this Walker Gun a lot, and I cannot wait to play around with some deck builds for him. Alright, so moving on to the character card. Now, if you notice, there's only one Bakugan here, one Maximus toy, but three character cards and three evolutions. What's up with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. We actually have the international release. So we have the three Dragonoids. You know, for right now, you know, nothing changes on this. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at him. He comes in a Brawler Elite. Hex, so no, you don't have to worry about pulling packs for this guy. He's got 700 B power and three damage and some incredible artwork. Like, holy cow, that is amazing. Um, and the, the hollow foil on this does him a lot of justice. And then, moving on to the evolutions, this is where the international version comes in handy. So. Let's find. All right, so this is the one we want to look at as uh, American and English speakers. Look at this art. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on one of them right now. This is absolutely crazy and hex and hollow foil. Like it looks good on the box, but like having this card right now, oh my god! So this is our Exodia. It's Pyrus Dragonoid Maximus. Ten cost, 2,500 B power, ten damage. If you control Dan, Winton, and Leah, you win the game. If you control all three of those heroes, it is an automatic win, which is absolutely bananas that we have a win condition card now. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other languages. I'm not even going to attempt to read any of these. So hopefully you guys can pause your screen. If you are familiar with this language and just kind of read it. So I'm actually having a little bit of difficulty keeping my clothes. Um, I just kind of want to show you guys. I, I, I wanted to show you how he pops open and everything, um, but I'm going to have to get in touch with Spin Master. But um, the, the Dragonoid goes right here on the back and then he pops open and he has a, a sound that he does. Um, yeah, I don't know. My, my legs won't lock into place. Everything else is fine. Um, so yeah, he looks really, really cool. I'll try to fold him up again real quick just so you get to see how he looks up close. Um, but he is not going to stay close. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. This is actually how he looks um, when he's closed up. Mine, again, mine won't stay as soon as I like leave off any pressure. He starts to come undone. Um, so, yeah, I'm ha actually having a hard time. Let's see if I can't get this to open on camera. I'm just gonna leave him open. So you put him here, which causes everything to like pop open. Um, the head doesn't want to come out either when I do this. Um, so he's like. I don't wanna. I don't wanna come out. <laughs> so, there, there's a way that helps. There we go. Alright, so for right now everything's kind of manual. I'm probably gonna keep him in this mode, this dragon mode anyways. Um, but yeah, just just so you guys kind of saw how he works. I don't know, maybe like the first batch is just a little wonky. Uh, to the no Fang Shamans um, version was also giving him trouble, but I think it was in a different place than mine. Um, so yeah, that is um, how he opens. And that has been the Dragonoid Maximus box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed. This figure is super, super cool. And I cannot wait to, to show it off to my friends and everything. Um, if you have not liked the video, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already so you can keep up to date with more of this amazing content. But that is going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. And I hope you have a fiery day.